Hello! Today we're going to have a quick look at how to customize our desktop. What can we do to make it a little bit more the way we like it? Okay, one of the simple things is some people love to have icons over here filled up all the way. Some people might like to remove them. Okay, very simple. Just go right click over there, click on view, show desktop item icons, instantly gone. Okay, so basically you could remove all your icons and then make it clutter free You're just looking at the screen. Okay. Let's bring him back. Okay, another thing is the drop shadow. A little shadow around the icon that makes it stand out a little bit from the background. Okay, you might want to get it, okay? So basically, how do you do it? You need to get to the screen. Very simple. You could go through Control Panel, or you could just type in SYS. Uh, dm.cpl okay open that up that brings this go to advanced performance is visual effects okay and then click on use drop shadow for icons labels on the desktop okay and then click OK click OK you need to restart and then the shadow becomes a little bit clearer it's like a background kind of shadow like this kind of Okay. Now, some people might like to add on their system icons. Okay. And how do we get to there? Very easy. We just right click over there, click on personalize. That brings this up. Go to theme side and then go to advanced. Whoops. Go to desktop icon second settings. Okay. Rid of that. Here we are. Okay, now if you want to have my computer on there, you might want to have the network, user files, add the control panel. Okay, you could change icons for them. I'll allow themes to change desktop, desktop items. You might have certain themes that have the way the design is. Okay, click on apply. Suddenly you get all these extra things over there. Okay, so that's one thing to do. You may want to rearrange your desktop. Basically, you can click sort by name, size, item type, date modified. Okay, click by name. Okay, that goes there. And then refresh. Sometimes you might need to use it. Sort by, for example, in this type, item type. All those kind of concepts. Okay. Depend now, we have these desktop items. We might want to change the size of them right click over there okay and then basically click view and then choose the kind of size you want do we want large icons you might want medium small icons okay and align icons to the grid okay Otherwise, you could have them going off, okay, in different little positions. Okay. Our little recycle bin over here. Okay, we might want to give it a new name. Okay. It's up to us. Quite easy. Just click over there. Give it a new name. Um, let's say garbage. Or trash. It's entirely up to you what you want to call it. There we go. Nice and simple. That's straightforward. Okay, certain icons, you can change them. Okay, for example, you might have had a sticky notes or notepad over there as an icon. How can we do that? I'll just show you. Go to this PC. Look at this C. In Windows, you'll find notepad. Okay, there we go. Right click on that. Create shortcut. That's how you do it. Doesn't want to place it over here because that's a restricted area. It sends it over here. Shortcut. Okay. Now, if you want to change, for example, the icon, what it looks like, you might have your own icon that you've created or created from an online website or a software package, etc. You can change it. Okay. Taking the bare minimum. Okay. 
you basically want to go to percentage system root percentage and then it's backslash and then it's system 32 system 32 and then it's backslash and then shell 32.dll okay this one has a lot of icons within it click open and there you go you could choose any kinds of the basic system icons okay for example scissors or something that looks like a notepad okay there we go click OK and then that's done now you might want to add this little sticky notes over there that's quite simple all you need to do is go to sticky type in sticky sticky notes opens it up that creates a little sticky notes over here you could pin it to the taskbar keep it on the taskbar always so whenever it opens up you can always increase the size of that whoops okay you can write if you have a pen okay and you can type depending on how you're using it okay that's quite simple if you have a touch screen for example on a tablet you can just bring your finger over it automatically it'll go to tablet mode okay you might be wondering how this desktop background keeps changing it's basically a theme okay which we can happily download from anywhere you could use the new project spartan okay and then in google or in bing just type in microsoft themes okay right over there there's also lots of other free places or paid places that you might want to use choose a theme for example any theme that you like that looks quite nice beach panoramic download it okay download theme okay when it downloaded you just basically open it okay and that will basically unpack and set it all up once it comes to the screen it automatically goes into that you might have other themes that you've downloaded okay you could choose those if we now bring this down see we've got a different background and this will keep changing every few minutes you can also advance onwards okay beautiful concept okay now you might want to modify the system sounds okay for example when you click on something and it's an error or for example other issues or when windows starts up so basically for that it's mmsys.cpl okay over here go to sounds and then basically the windows sounds when you close a program you could create a sound okay when basically your battery has an issue you'll have that okay the default sounds you can change all of them basically all you need to do is for example when a menu pop-up okay opens basically play window sounds okay browse a sound for that one okay you might have a J I mean, a wave file somewhere on your computer okay sounds you could choose some of the built-in ones okay windows notify for example and then test on that how the sound is okay you'll be able to hear it okay and then that's how you set sounds for actions events that happen on windows okay sound scheme you could change your sound scheme okay to the windows default seashore and you can create your own and then save it you might not like the standard cursor that we're using over here so you might want to create your own or choose one of the creations the cursors that are available 
Okay, very simple for that. All you need to do is type in main.cpl. Okay. And we have our mouse over here. Okay, you can choose different pointers. Okay, whatever works well with you. You know, if you're using like a tablet and or a pen, you might want to go for that. Okay. You might want to have a little shadow. Okay. Basically, you can customize what happens with the wheel and any hardware issues on it. Okay. Different pointer options. Okay. Basically, how fast or how slow the pointer moves. Okay. You want to make it move faster or slower. Okay. You might want to have a little trail. Some people like it. Some people think it's a little bit annoying. Okay. Hide pointer while typing. Okay. For example, you're in Notepad. Or word etc and you're typing away you might want to hide the pointer okay show location of pointer when I press the control key you might want to use that as well okay click apply and then let's just go back there we have our little mouse trail okay and over here that's also that quite a nice little system okay you can fiddle around there's a few other options in there for you to play with your mouse okay some people might want to increase the size of their apps for example the desktop apps the way things are shown Okay, very simple. For that, what we need to do is go to display settings. Okay, and then you can choose the size of text, apps, and other items. Okay, we've got it at 125 over here. Okay, 100%, as you can see, things become a little bit smaller. Okay, you could go to 125, keep that at 125, click apply. Okay, you will need to sign out and sign back in for some things to take effect. You might want to play around with the Explorer settings. Okay, how it's displayed over here. Okay, you can choose different views. Okay, you can have details, which is quite good if you have quite a lot of them and you just want to have the date modified, time, type, size, name, etc. You know, you can also have show hidden items, okay, file extensions, okay, for example, you might have a file that is like something.exe or something.pdf. You might want to change extensions for whatever reason. Okay, hopefully this has helped. Thanks for watching.